Vic, we'll come back to you in a minute. Yeah. Uh, but I see that we also have my friend Shuli hanging out here. Shuli, what's happening, buddy? Hey. Gentlemen, gentlemen, drunk Irish guy, how we doing? <laughs> Shalom. Mr. Hansen. How we doing, buddy? Good to be here. So the reason why we have Shuli here is because Stuttering John on his show yesterday <laughs> went off on a whole rant about how he's suing everyone. And I have the whole video here. Just tell me when to pause it. I, I want to break this down, and then I have some evidence that proves that uh, John might be guilty of what he's <gasps> accusing others of doing. I know. No. I know. It's surprising because he never usually projects. But in this case, I think he might be. Uh, just tell you a few things that's going on with me, and just because <laughs> I, I've been keeping really quiet about this, but... <laughs> I have been sending out um, cease and desist with the people. You have not been quiet about that at all. That's all you've been talking every episode. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, hockey puck, you're getting a cease and desist. Ryan Shaman, you'll be getting a cease and desist. Uh, Kevin, from one of my podcasts, cease and desist. He goes, I've been real quiet about yeah. this. It's like birthday invitations at school. <laughs> yeah. Here's one for you, too. <laughs> I like the uh, fresh off the miniature golf course look, too. Yeah, yeah. That's a good look for him. <laughs> the miniature golf course. <laughs> yeah, desperately unhappy, Gilmore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, his voice is now starting to morph into producer Chris's impression. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Well, I not know. only that, it's not weird. only that, I think he's six months away from sounding just like Tyson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> good point. I'm telling you, it's close. It, I'm a big fan of Led Zeppelin. Yeah. There's an interview. <laughs> he finally used an iron, but he was already wearing his shirt at the time. That's not how you iron his shirt. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. Uh, Sad time. Involved in nefarious things. Uh, <laughs> By the way, pause it. this pause is John it. trying to be smart when he starts using yeah. the, the big grown-up words. Nefarious, nefarious yeah. things are happening. Yeah. That was this my is favorite abysmal to me. On, that was my favorite thing on cops is when they would bust somebody and they would and they'd be like, you know, turning into uh, Perry Mason. Go, <laughs> uh, well, Your Honor, what you have here, Counselor? Great. Yeah, we're not buying it. Yeah. And it's got to stop. And they, you know, like you know, this one guy who I won't mention any names, of course. It could be anybody because uh, I, I don't go public with who I'm sending it to. What? Okay. Again? For John, what do you mean? First of all, there there isn't a thing he doesn't go public about. I know. Okay? <laughs> it's all public information. Well, a couple weeks ago, he outed some guy's kid for having COVID. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. the guy's insane. He, he can't hold on to anything. He has to blurt it out all the time. And by the way, if he had, like, good legal representation yeah. and this was a serious thing, the first thing they would tell him is don't fucking talk about any of this. Correct. Yeah. Just like I told Jay Moore after he got out of rehab for cocaine addiction is I know how to keep stuff private. He's divorced <laughs> from his ugly wife. <laughs> I told Jay Moore, I won't tell anyone about how you're doing blow two days out of rehab. <laughs> when Adam Carolla got caught cheating on his wife, I said, this is between me and you. <laughs> and I meant it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, even after he gets it, he decides to go on. He goes on Reddit and trashes the law firm that sent it. Yeah, because the law firm's a joke. <laughs> I looked at the <laughs> website of this law firm because I got a cease and desist. And literally, if you go on their about page, they represent people who have no money. That's their right. whole thing. It's yeah. like, if you don't have a lot of money, we'll still represent you. They're part of like this legal trust thing. Where yeah. they get, like, and you can order the a government. pizza. You can order a pizza from them, too, which is weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's as lawyers called Jackie Childs. <laughs> it's actually uh, MSCS attorneys. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> We do yeah, legal. That, we do advice. <laughs> Energy drinks. We do law. <laughs> yeah. That that MSCS guy, his face has more peaks than Stuttering John's career. <laughs> and then immediately takes it off. I mean, how dumb is that? Now, I, of course, we took a picture of it. 
And you I, took a picture of a guy goofing on the law firm you worked on. How is that illegal? In what wait, world? By the way, like, oh shit, they're gonna come after me now. <laughs> guys, laughing. The guys <laughs> goofing. The, the guys goofing on it on Reddit. On, on Reddit. Reddit. Like, wait, wait, you know, how many pictures are you gonna fucking take? It's all it's filled in. It's, it's, it's yeah, John's big shit. thing is like, oh, you took it down. Doesn't matter. We have the screenshot. Like, okay, could you yeah. put it back up for us? I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I send that to the law firm. Now they're thinking about doing something. Oh, are they? They're thinking about doing something because someone made fun of them on Reddit. Guess what they're thinking about doing? Not representing you anymore. <laughs> That's what they're thinking about doing. <laughs> Holy shit, you're yeah. right. This whole site is dedicated to goofing on you. Shut, We're going to yeah. distance ourselves. That's going to get a C and D from them. Yeah. <laughs> Stop calling My you. My mother's not happy with them. <laughs> next, next, he's going after Yelp for bad reviews. <laughs> you know. But this is the kind of lunacy I'm dealing with. And now this thing that I, you know, that I was talking to you about, about, yeah, a cease and desist has gone out to a big corporation and it <laughs> will be followed by a lawsuit. So a cease and desist has been sent to a large corporation mm -hmm. and he's already determined that they are going to break the cease and desist. <laughs> and so he's going to sue them. Right. But Which, cease, cease, cease and desist what, Carl? People's yeah. opinions? Well, like, yeah. What? All right. Yes. Thank you, Shu. Let's get into this because this is it's, what he thinks is illegal. It's the farthest thing from illegal. And it, and it, because it involves in stoking hate, okay. uh, homophobia, yep. transphobia, okay. yeah. racism, uh -huh. mm -hmm. anti Semitism, right. Right. anti Hispanic. All right. Bomb threats. <laughs> All right. So one of these things is not like the other. Nothing he said right there was illegal. If right. any of that's true, which it's not, because he's a moron, doesn't understand how comedy works, but whatever. Let's pretend all of that's true. He says all these things that there's no law about any of these things. Then he goes, bomb threats. Well, okay. Well, that's a thing. That's well, I actually think that's a thing. I think that's what I think he didn't want to say, but that's what he's calling his stand up set yeah, yeah, that yeah, they posted. Yeah. That's what <laughs> I There's think. always a threat of bombing. Right. But, uh, you know, like you said, the si the first six things he named yeah. is describing every message board ever created. Yeah. Okay. This guy has gotten so far lost in his left wing politics with his buddies. Where they go on there and they're like, I saw a guy reference a Jewish person with a big nose. I I'm going to sue him. You're like, well, that's not how this works at all. Like, people can make jokes. Sorry. By the talking way, about Hard Stern again? <laughs> by the way, I don't understand why he's going people after people who make anti-Semitic. Is he Jewish? Yeah, that didn't make sense to me either. He said anti-Hispanic. Okay. But then, yeah, right. anti-Semitic. Like, Homophobic what I get because yeah. of that shirt. Uh, and, but where's the anti-Semitism? Don't, don't fight for me, dude. I don't need your fucking help. I think he just wrote down all the big words that he knows on a piece of paper. <laughs> Homophobic, right. transphobic, anti-nefarious. <laughs> you know what it is, Carl? He What's called that? he called this law firm, right? Yeah. And he said he goes, What if what if I were to tell you that I could give you a case where we go after a major company that's promoting, you know, homophobia, transphobia, anti-Semitism, this, this, this. And the guy said they're going, okay, okay, they're worth four billion. Okay, what is it? Reddit. Click. See you later, <laughs> douchebag. Yeah. That fucking idiot. You should see what I saw on Facebook yesterday. Yeah, okay, John, stop calling here. Lose our number. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, and, and what's the difference between racism and anti-Hispanic? <laughs> yeah, I know. Some of these things check a the racism same. racism just cover it all? Yeah, they check right? the same yeah. box. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Stoking hate. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> try to coordinate ways to hurt me <laughs> both physically and financially they want to make me cry <laughs> both <laughs> physically and financially see part of the problem with john is he needs to just like focus on what he's doing rather than <laughs> everything yeah. what, what, what are we suing that for everything i don't know <laughs> yeah. uh, financial physical hate if you're, suing for physical, if you're suing for physical damage, and then he's suing Coors Light, I imagine, <laughs> yeah, right? No yeah. uh, it's Melendez v. Beer Can Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, and it's, it's gone too far. And this company, well, I'll be naming, and I'll be going on any, 
Any show that'll have me. <laughs> you're welcome. About, oh. You're welcome about WTP. I want him. Yeah, yeah. I, want him. I saw Chrissy Mayer said that she'll have you on. Anyone yeah. on Compound, I'm sure would be happy to have you on. Dude, I'm just we have start a media a show. tour. Yeah. We have a. We just booked you a media yes. tour. Yeah. Carl, I'm throwing you under the bus. That you're finished. <laughs> oh yeah, you think it's over. <laughs> it's stuttering John and Hughie all over again. We're back. Can you imagine think- if we all if we all teamed up with John and went after Carl like we all like wrestling we all do a heel turn yeah. and we're buddies with John? Yeah, you pull off your shirt and you're wearing a stuttering job on this podcast. You're like, no, I do it. I trusted you. <laughs> He's wearing a gagoya hat. <laughs> He's dabbling for life. <laughs> and I will show all the proof that I have and all the proof that I have provided to this big corporation and yet they have done nothing and i've given them months yeah it's almost like you don't have a case it's almost like telling people uh, a company that hey these guys are making fun of me and i want to take it down uh that's not how the world works i, I, I hate to break it to you john one, one attorney told him their phones might be tapped so don't call <laughs> us we'll call you yeah. Yeah. i've had a research team Oh, this this too. He goes. I have this research team. So he he gets his moderators to go on the Dabblers Anonymous and our Patreon. And I imagine <laughs> Shuli's Patreon as well. And they just pull clips of any time they go- we goof on John. And it's like, well, here's all the proof that you need. They're making fun of me. <laughs> Yeah, we know. By the way, by the way, I love that every team he's formed has eventually turned on him. Yes. And, <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. I mean? He's put team- on a season assist to Ryan Sherman and Hockey Puck, two guys who used to be his moderators. Do you well, see how te- this works, John? Listen, team is a code word for fr- people that will do it for free. Yes. That's what team means. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> who have compiled numerous pages. <laughs> Of these kind of racist, homophobic, Here we go again. and everything yeah. else that I yeah. bomb yeah. Threatic. <laughs> posts. You talking about my Twitter feed? That this corporation <laughs> promotes. And you'll be hearing more about it as the days go by. Can't wait. So, <laughs> On uh, your show you know, alone. But if you <laughs> saw the stuff that is being allowed, you would. You would laugh your ass off. You yeah. would never stop laughing if you saw what these people are allowing people to post. Would be appalled. <laughs> you would be appalled if you're a Jewish person, if you're a Hispanic person, if you're Here a black go. person, if you're a person of color, if you're a gay person, if you're a trans person. <laughs> All right, who else? If you're, you're a bird. Be? If you're a plane. <laughs> <laughs> you're a cracker. <laughs> If you're a lover, if you're a fighter, if you're a midnight roller, <laughs> if you're a joker, if you're song. a smoker, if you're a midnight toker, <laughs> you might be a lover, but you ain't no dancer. <laughs> appalled. Appalled. That this has gone. You'll be appalled, appeared, and a married. <laughs> if I had a hammer, I'd go straight after Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> For this long. And I have a myriad of oh, emails. Oh, right. no, he's trying to talk big again. He's trying to, he tried to say a million. Uh, point Just say, of parliamentary procedure, your honor. <laughs> Just say you have a lot of emails, John. Yeah. Let's keep it to one syllable words for you, buddy. I have a permit of emails. Going back and forth to this corporation with tons and tons of proof. And they're ignoring it all. What does that tell you, John? What do you think that means? My copious calls are not being returned. <laughs> that has been compiled by the research team. Is he starting to talk like fucking Elegant Elliot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the world's greatest whack packer. He if only really he hadn't is. already worked on the show. <laughs> I've got these by basis in it. Nothing. Zero <laughs> has been done. Yep. <laughs> and that is bullshit. And, you know, this is not only about me. 
This is about. Oh, here we go. Uh, freedom. <laughs> yeah. Right. This, this is like, where John's yeah. just like, and if you think this is selfish of me to want to get these goose, you guys who are goofing on me, taking off the internet, it's not for me, no, people. Yeah. Norma Ray over here leading the charge. <laughs> Listen, if you're that against it, chain yourself to the internet, you fucking retard. How about that? <laughs> Go on a hunger strike. Yeah. It'd be the best yeah, thing you could you do. <laughs> yeah. You might look human at the end of it. When we were pregnant with with uh, with my daughter, you know, having my first kid, uh, this is back in the Stern Fan Network days. It's this fucking thread in there uh, making bets about whether or not my kid's going to be born retarded. Right? <laughs> How much now, did you put on it? I won, but my yeah. point is that there was nothing I could do about it. It, it. That's that's what it is. Like that's what that's what people are saying on there. That's yeah. all. What any organization, especially an organization that's worth four billion dollars. All right, I'm gonna pause it right there. So he's been saying this a lot. The the company that he's suing is worth four billion dollars. And everyone thinks he's talking about Reddit and the Dabblers Anonymous because we've seen his email, we've seen his inbox where he's going back and forth trying to get things taken down. It's actually Patreon that's worth $4 billion. <laughs> he's going after <laughs> Patreon. He's going after my yeah. Patreon, possibly Shuli's Patreon, maybe others. I don't know. What's he suing next? The Sun? <laughs> what's, what's great about this is that literally Maddox sued Patreon Dumb. and it was thrown out of court with prejudice. John doesn't know if there's a legal precedent for this. Dick Masterson made fun of Maddox <laughs> to the point where Maddox is like, I'll sue you. And he's the laughing stock of the internet for three and a half years running now because of it. And John is going in the exact same direction. He learns nothing from anything. He's such a fucking idiot. He thinks he's going to sue Patreon. He sends all of these things. He's fucked with me twice now. I had to take down episodes. I got to put them back up. I had to dis link my Discord from my Patreon because of all the hate speech and the haters and the anti-Semitism, whatever the fuck's going on there. So John's been trying to get my Patreon taken down. This is his only mission in life is to make sure I don't make money off of him. It's not going to work, John. It doesn't work. We're not right, making money off of you. You do it. You're not bringing <laughs> us down to your level, pal. That's just not going to happen. Yeah. We're going to make money off of you no matter right. how much you can't make Sorry. money off of you. Yeah. By the way, did the... Uh, did... Mr. Melendez do the uh, the okay hand sign. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's the white power right there. Yeah, we go. Let's screenshot that. Let's get that right oh. there. Joe <laughs> Biden supporter hits uh, uh, Mike Tyson. Uh, even, even, you know, that you're jo joking about, but I do believe he's white supremacist. But I will say this. <laughs> You know, everything that he's highlighted, the homophobia, the racism, the anti-Semitism, mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that just in one song that he wrote? Yeah. Uh, I, by the way, Shuli, I came prepared today. We're going to play oh. examples of all the things John's accusing other people of doing. This is why you're This is why you're the biggest <laughs> shark in the ocean, That's bro. right, buddy. I'm on top of this one. When I saw this video come out last night, like, are you kidding me, John? You really want to shed a light on these things? Are you that stupid? You you don't realize what your past is? Holy shit! It, yeah, did um, you see Did you see any of the clips of Alex Jones today in court? Like, no. I imagine if John ever gets to court, it's going to look exactly like Alex Jones today in court. He's on the stand and he finds out that his lawyers sent all his cell phone conversations mm. by accident to the defense. Holy shit! And, really? <laughs> yeah. And they tell him this. <laughs> you on don't the fucking stand. know about this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're like, we have every text message you ever sent regarding Sandy Hook. And he's just like, I'm sorry, what now? You know, he's, <laughs> he's just. <laughs> and I picture John is exactly like him because, yeah. but at least John's a fucking, like, he doesn't research anything. He doesn't no. look in anything. He just looks for what's <clears throat> free and, and what can, you know, the, that's why he temporarily, like, like a speed bump stopped you, you yes. know, for, for so a down. day or two. Actually, and what he did was he brought more attention to it, yeah. which 100%. is what he's doing again. A hundred percent. Forget the Streisand effect. It should just be called Melendezing. I'm Melendezing <laughs> all over the internet today. i got to stop doing this. I love that. That's got to be some merch right there, buddy. <laughs> Hashtag Melendezing. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm Check it out way, on opradio.com. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, with you having song party sent in, the fact that there hasn't been one doing Substitute by the Who about uh, Mr. Melendez. It's outrageous. It's as offensive as with the thing I'm going to tweet later on. <laughs> right, uh, perfect. It, it's, it has to happen.
the black people would be chastised for allowing this kind of hate to be spewed on a regular basis. That's right. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mr. X. Yeah. Also, the attack on my children. All right. So I want to point this out because what John doesn't understand in his wet brain is that the running gag on Reddit and in our Discord is that I say outrageous things about his kids. And so people go on there and they're like, I can't believe what Carol just said in the most recent bonus episode of where these podcasts about John's kids. I can't believe they gave out his, their addresses. I can't believe he said this. And it's a joke because I've never done that. So I've even gone to the point where in my descriptions of episodes, I say, and then we talk about John's kids for a while just to fuck with him. I know he's for it every these. time. Yeah. And then he goes, he goes, they're out there talking about my kids. I have evidence. I have screen captured of this. Yeah. You have me writing a description saying we goof on your kids. It's a joke. You moron. You're right, not, now there's an, right now there's an intern somewhere with headphones on going, Jesus Christ, when are they going to get to this? Yeah, just trying to find evidence yeah. for this moron's case. Yeah, so this, this is the thing, is that John leads off with all these things that are not even close to illegal that you can't sue anyone over. And then he says bomb threats and doesn't elaborate on that at all. I've never even heard of bomb threats at all. I've heard about like the threat of beating up women at a comedy <laughs> club, but I've never heard of bomb threats. Yeah. <laughs> and then, now he brings his kids into it. Right. The, 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 the bomb yeah. threats is when you threaten to post audio of a stand-up. Yes, yeah. that, that is not a threat. That is happening. Uh, we have the audio <laughs> clips, so and don't even plan on, you know, on scrubbing this stuff because we already. <laughs> I'm not planning on scrubbing. You want to take it down? What you made me do with your stupid DMCA strike, you asshole. Don't. Does he think that what you have on your computer is equivalent to government secrets <laughs> that you're selling to Russia? You're like, don't even think of scrubbing or defragging your equipment. <laughs> we have the hard drives. <laughs> have it. Big Brother is watching. All, all compiled, dated, everything. So that's what I'm dealing with now. Can you just I pause it for a second? Yeah, of course. So so the, the picture he's painting, right? Yeah. Every piece is lined up. You're fucking done. He's got audio. He's yep. got transcripts. He's got it all. He's got the team. He's got the emails remember, going back and forth. Right. And most importantly, let's remember, no one from this law firm is contacting him ever again. Right? All this <laughs> right. is ready. You're dead. He's got you dead to rights. Yeah. Nobody's following through on it. There you go. Yeah. That, that's what we're going to find out. That, that, yeah. Everything. So that's what I'm dealing with now. I will let you more in. It took a little while because my attorney had COVID. <laughs> but now I love the details that he provides. They would have had a cease and desist yesterday. I had to wait a couple days, so they'll have yeah. it tomorrow. One of the one of the worst symptoms of COVID is uh, not being able to reply to an email. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> yeah. I was I was gonna say percentage wise, how many people in John's life that tell him COVID do you think are lying just to get away from him? Like. It's over 50. It's over 50 for yeah. sure. For sure. Now, it is, it was sent out. Yes. Can you believe that every girl on Bumble has COVID this month? <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances of that? Again. I know it's the BA5 area that's been going around, but that's crazy. <laughs> today, an email today. Oh, and back, we'll see if this corp had COVID. But now, it is, it was sent out yesterday. Okay. An email today. Okay. And we'll see if this corporation decides to take any action. And they won't, John. <laughs> Patreon is going to ignore your stupid email. <laughs> they don't care. I love By the way, some... yeah, why does he have a microphone if he's speaking into the onboard mic of his laptop? <laughs> I know. He does not understand mic technique at all, and he's been in broadcasting his entire life. His, his, his production has monkey pucks. It's bananas. I, just, I love somebody in Discord with a Toons kid says, my lawyer told me he'd be dead next week. And not available. <laughs> I got a real bad case of the COVIDs. <laughs> and His wife has monkey so, pugs. Then there won't be a lawsuit. If not, then there will be. Wow, that's Whoa. the tough talk. Whoa. From, from Spit drop. John. Walks off. <laughs> what All a right. fucking tool. So are you in, in fear, Carl? I am. Uh, I'm very nervous, as you can tell. Yeah, I have a feeling and I'm going to go right to jail or something. I don't know. Hey, yeah, no, actually, I... someone brought this up in the, in the subreddit, and I thought this was a pretty astute point. When you talk about suing someone, 
bomb threats is not something you sue someone over. That's like a, a criminal matter. You'd have them right. arrested if there were right. bomb threats going on. Well, hold on. John might be making a citizen's arrest on you at some point. <laughs> You don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that. All right. I, I think that in his hangovers, he's been watching the police academy box set. Yes. And he's been taking notes. He goes, oh, citizens on patrol. The tones are good. <laughs> uh, he thinks they're documentaries. Yeah. It's like, those are comedies. Did you just hear anyone laughing? <laughs> <laughs> There's been a lot of talk about fireworks that John used to use when he was younger and what he would call said fireworks. I happen to have the audio clips from the Howard Stern show, and I don't normally allow this word on my show, but I think since John has gone on and claimed that he's going to take down a $4 billion corporation for encouraging racism, it might be good a good time to play John on the Howard Stern show. Stuff. Yeah, And here's Mike Ganji. He knows about it as well. And, and Ganji. So it's, a, it's like this little thing like they put on the ground. And it's supposed to like find the like you know like, the light is supposed to find the you know it goes around and then it aims at one guy and nails him. And, that's so cool. and what is it called? John? What, what is it called? No. It's called uh, it's called a face. No, 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 no. no. What is it? The idea is, is that it written on the side of the box. <laughs> I love compound media. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony shows never been funnier. Yeah. By right. the way, I went I went to a fireworks place here in Alabama. It is called that. Uh, pretty wild. No, I'm <laughs> uh, yeah, he hey, Julie, the Rick. since you brought that up, did you hear when John the other day was talking about all the places he might move to? He brought up Alabama as one of the states. Please, come to. on down, dude. That Could would be imagine? awesome. I don't think he'd get along with people all that well. No, no. That, yeah, he's... he's uh, Trust me, he he's not affording Alabama, believe I, it or not. I I like that John's going, well, when we were growing up, we would call them these N-word chasers. And Robin goes, yeah, but what were they called? He goes, N-word chasers, Robin. <laughs> no, that wasn't. Aren't you listening? <laughs> what do I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be the funniest sniper. thing John ever said, but he's never said that. Yeah. Uh, here's, here's part two of John explaining these fireworks that he enjoyed. If you want to make a homemade... Chasing, you just break the. This is what they call them. Then you, then you rip off the little piece of wood off the bottle rocket and throw it. And it's supposed to twirl around and find and find. Yeah, uh, yeah. But they actually make their own kind too. They call them. But you don't actually, know the. It actually says it on the side of it. It does. Uh, yeah, it actually says it. No, yeah, when, definitely when John not. writes it, you know, John <laughs> writes it on the box. Yeah. Does it? You know what they call uh, uh, N word chasers nowadays? Nowadays, What's the police. Yeah, <laughs> it's not bad. They, uh, by the way, I'd love to hear what Richard O'Jedi thinks of uh, <laughs> yeah, John right? using that language. Yeah, and I'm not trying to get John in trouble. That, that's the thing is, uh, some people no, are like, I "We got to send these clips out to his guests." And, uh, don't no. do that. We're not fucking with John. No. I just want to point out the hypocrisy. Is my goal well, today is to point this out. Like, what an idiot this guy is. And you know what's the funniest thing about it is somebody from his side will end up bringing this up oh, and yeah. taking him down. Hopefully, Tony Michaels in between McNuggies. Oh, my God. The rebirth stuff. of Tony Michaels. He yes. goes after John. Full Join board. forces Come with on. us, Tony. Join the dark side. <laughs> Tony, we need one more to connect Voltron, bro. Get over here. Get over Come here. On. Come on through. Uh, 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 Carl, just... B, Tony, Tommy, producer yes! Chris, Voltron, yes! done. Can I, can I just assume that all this stuff isn't going to make the YouTube then, yeah? Uh, no, I assume that it will. Yeah, this is for legal uh, purposes. Bleeps. He's defending himself here. Yes. Okay. Let's not forget the song that John wrote for Howard Stern to be the theme song of the Howard Stern show that went a little something like this. Here's a story about a Jew's success. Do, do, um, do up, do, do, um, do up. He grew up with blacks. His mind was a mess. Poor little Jew boy thought he was a coon. After dancing the horror, he had nowhere to go. Do, do, um, do up, do, do, um, do up. Who would have thought he'd be king of radio? He All right, and I want to point something out that John wrote all of these lyrics out in his 2018 book and then sang it for the audio version of that book. So if he thought that was offensive and it's like looking back at it, it's like, well, you can't do that today. He didn't give a fuck. Oh, and he set it up as, I wasn't going to do this, but the fans really <laughs> yeah, wanted it. Of course, this. we have to do this. By the way, in his defense, with music, it sounds a lot less uh, you know, racist and... and 
anti-Semitic. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's just it's fun. Like, it's like how Mike, it's like how Mike Tyson said, "You can't go to Aerosmith if they don't sing a whole lot of love." <laughs> 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 All right, guys, I have one more example that I want to play of John's hypocrisy. Uh, this is from his 2008 movie. And why isn't this sharing? Give me a second. Uh. From his 2008 movie, (laughs) One Too Many, my favorite scene from said movie. Now, what's going on here is John's girlfriend just broke up with him. He was trying to get a threesome going with her and this other chick. And so now John. Is it a documentary? I'm sorry? (laughs) Is it a documentary? It kind of is. I I don't think that John is uh, all that. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Creative. I think Hygienic? He, I think he just writes what he knows. <laughs> right. So this Funny. is that classic scene where you're met with the angel on one sh- shoulder and the devil on the other, and John has to struggle with nobody's, this. Nobody's done that before. No, Let's this is all new out. stuff. Like that yep. scene where he's taking a shit and he's sweating sure. real hard. That's a great scene yeah. in the movie, too. No one's ever Let done me that guess, before. is there a scene where he's coming, too? <sighs> Great. Thanks for the job, Johnny. I'm a freaking clown again. Who says clowns ain't happy? Good acting skills. So freaking happy. Yeah, that nine bucks gave me a coffee at Starbucks. Thomas, what are you fucking nuts? Why are you whining? Who the hell are you? I'm your better half. Think of all the new gay she's you can get now. Thomas, go back to her. She loves you. You love her. Forget her. You fucked her already. Move on. Thomas, think clearly. Follow your heart. Go back to her. Don't listen to this faggot. He wouldn't know a good piece of ass if it sat on his face. His idea of a good time is playing that fucking annoying harp all day. And by the way, he's a horrible fucking harp player. God had to buy earplugs. Ooh, that smarts. Thomas, think of Jennifer. Think of you. Shut up, you faggot. Listen, Thomas, if he had any pull, he'd be riding shotgun. Thomas, think about it. This one decision will be with you for the rest of your life. Wait, what am I thinking? I miss Jennifer. Jesus, I love her. Who the heck needs this threesome crap? You fucking cocksucker, bone-smoking, faggot, homo, piece of shit. I think he used an upslur one too many times, (laughs) (laughs) if you ask me. I mean, wow. Scorsese's writing some pretty real shit these days. Am I right? <laughs> this that is, was this John. This sh- this movie was written, directed, and stars John Melendez, who's now <laughs> suing Patreon for promoting what do you say homophobic content? Yeah. Is that what he said? Well, of course it was written, directed, and produced because anyone in this business with a brain in their head would have seen that language on a script even back then <laughs> yeah. and would have been yeah. like. Hey, okay, listen, if you really need to use it, how about once? Yeah, how, about, okay. how about just one? Put it in a context that's funny, at least. Like, make it funny instead of just outright homophobic. And by the way, John was on The Tonight Show. It was 2008 when this movie came out. And poor Jay Leno has to be like, yeah, all right, everyone go see John's movie. <laughs> Jesus, I hope no one sees John's movie. <laughs> I only listened to that scene, and that's still the worst thing that I've ever seen. <laughs> it, that, that's the worst thing to happen to cinema since the fucking shooting at the Dark Knight Rises premiere. <laughs> it's the worst thing to happen to cinema since Amy Schumer. That's how bad that uh, was. Whoa. Uh, I can that already smell her cunt. I, I can smell her cunt from here. <laughs> yeah, she wipes up your ear. Stop using my. <laughs> Mike Tyson wouldn't even rip Amy Schumer. (laughs) (laughs) I can do better. I'll wait. Don't jerk off. All right. Uh, That's all I had on Saturday. I just wanted to point out his hypocrisy and how stupid he is and how this this cease and desist of this lawsuit is going nowhere. He's going to embarrass himself. And I can't wait to see how it plays out. Should be fun. Who are these podcasts? W-A-E.